Hi, in this video we will review the latest version of Blender, Blender 4.4. So stick around until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Before we begin, let me introduce our Asset Distro website, where you can explore a variety of free and premium assets. We offer high-quality game-ready assets and also Blender projects, all of which you are free to use in any of your projects. So be sure to check out our store at store.blackcave.com. The first part of what has been added I will try to explain the most important parts that have been added to this version. The first part is the compositor. Some things have been added. For example, the CPU compositor has been completely rewritten in this version of Blender. And it has become faster and more accurate. Here you can see its benchmarks, where the red section represents the new system and shows the speed of it. While the blue section represents the old system. This is shown for various effects such as blur effects, glare effects and others. In addition, uh, what it shows is that fast Gaussian which is one of the things used for uh, blur effects has become more precise. On the left, it shows the old version and on the right, it shows the new version. Uh, the halos you see here are for the old version, which can be said uh, to be less accurate. Another important thing that has been added is for the glare effect. The glare node in the compositor now provides you with more features and also gives you image outputs for glare and highlights, which in the previous version was only the image. Now it also performs separation and gives you those outputs separately in addition to the image. The next section is Cycles, where Blender 4.2 has added support for RTX 50 series graphics cards. And has also added support for new AMD and Intel graphics cards. Additionally, it has been improved its support in the Cycles render engine. The next section is related to the denoiser. Uh, specifically the optics denoiser, which has improved its process. Here you can see the old denoiser on the left and the new denoiser on the right. The differences are clear. It denoises much better and this section has also been upgraded. Let's move to the EV section. The new EV render engine, which was added in Blender 4.2, uh, has also undergone changes. I explained it in detail in the tutorial here. This render engine has also been improved in terms of speed, uh, especially with Vulkan API support, which has increased its performance. Here in this table, you can compare timing between OpenGL and Vulkan and this render engine and you can see the changes here it has become faster overall the next section uh, i won't explain these in detail because their changes aren't significant enough but let's move to this called section where a new brush has been added called the plain brush you can see its preview here although blender's sculpting section is still a bit behind software like ZBrush, as these brushes are already available in ZBrush with many variations. Here they have just been added and there are some other updates and changes as well. But there's nothing particularly special in this cult section uh, besides that. 
The next section is the video sequencer, which is the video editing section in Blender. This section uh, has the ability to add text overlays, but it has undergone some changes. For example, you can now edit the text directly in the preview environment. You can easily move the text to the left, right or center. Uh, there are also some new styling options for your text, such as easily curving the edges of your text box, uh, adjusting colors and changing fonts, which are now more accessible and user-friendly. The next section in the video editing is related to exporting videos, where support for the H265 codec has been added, along with some other minor improvements. One of the important sections is bug fixes, which address issues present in previous versions of Blender. These have now been resolved or mostly resolved. For example, in Blender, there are many cases where the scene crashes or throws uh, errors due to the certain operations. Here you can see a list of these crashes and errors that have been fixed. One of the most important additions in Blender 4.2 is that a large number of bugs have been resolved and they no longer bother you. Now let's go into Blender 4.4. I won't explain all the changes here, but let's work with one of them as an example. For instance, in the compositor section, uh, let's enable use notes. Press Shift A and search for glare, the glare node. Here you can see the added outputs. In the render mode, and of course enabling the real-time compositor, uh, which I explained in detail in this tutorial, I can see the glare in real-time. But I need to increase the light's intensity a bit. Here, in the power section, let's set it very high. Yes. Now I can see the glare node. Here uh, the final image is connected to the compositor. I need to connect the glare node to see what it does. Here you can see that the object appears completely black and only the glare is visible. You can read about all the changes on Blender's official website. I've explained the important sections. Many other sections have also been added. As I said, Blender 4.4 has focused more on resolving and fixing bugs, but you can study them and share your experiences in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.